Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day, where we've been studying through the book of 1 Samuel. And we've already noted that the Philistines had been worn down by the all-surpassing power of God. It didn't really matter where the ark of God went, God still proved himself more powerful than their regional deity. So after seven months of trying to deal with the Ark of the Covenant and the presence of God, the Philistines finally said, let's send the Ark back to the Israelites. And maybe that'll fix all of our woes, but how should we send it? So they call upon their religious experts, the worship experts, to get some guidance. And by the way, what we have in this conversation is the longest recorded speech given by a Philistine in the Old Testament. And those guys recognize a couple of true things, such as there must be a guilt offering and you must give glory to God. But they do not know the proper guilt offerings to give. And so they make images and icons of their tumors and rats. And the rats supposedly were what providentially caused the tumors. And this seems like a reasonable thing to do. But don't forget the word of God. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 9 says, When you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of those nations. This was the Lord's disposition towards foreign priests and diviners of these other nations. These Philistine diviners counseled the Philistine people to offer to the Lord golden images of detestable, unclean animals and of the human anatomy. Not only that, they advised the Philistines to transport the Ark of God on a wooden cart, which was something directly forbidden in Numbers chapter 7. And here's the lesson. The Philistines were trying to appease the God of the universe in the same way as they would have appeased their own gods. But Yahweh is different. Yahweh is holy. And yet, he's still going to show these Philistine people mercy. As you pray today, Please remember Rama Bakchung and his family, our changemaker missionaries in Myanmar. And also remember the Matumbi Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Tanzania.